Alright. It's time to go see... The Frozen Wilds. won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your task. <laughs> yeah, I've already done that, man. Up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking, Banuk shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future, or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you do as you wish. Mm. Catchy. Uh, up, right. I can never... I never think that I can make those jumps. Am I dead about to get hit with fucking fire or something? This one's a new predator. I see the heat coming off it. Seriously, not frozen yet? There we go. was um a lot harder than I thought it would be. Now the resist fire makes sense. I get a new fucking monster. I've got the fucking harder versions of them as well, straight off the bat. That's fun.
I guess. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. Interesting. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not the. Don't stay long. Smoke rising from the mountain. In the village too. What's it for? Oh. Smoke volcano. Works today. It's a bad omen for the ritual. How are we to trust the chieftain after so many die? The young hunters have learned a lesson from Thunderstrom. Must be something big going on. We suffered a great loss. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. Trust our attack. A shaman has abandoned us. Chieftain has led our best to the deaths. Where should we find hope now? Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead, but not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. Something's coming. But what? your grief my hunters and kill it for our kin seize the fate all banuk long for falling with their spears striking steel their struggle is over now you have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! In your teeth, Arnotok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fool. 
a little advice uh, for free. Uh, Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's Drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought that Crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Alright. Time for a fucking info dump. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? <sighs> I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. It seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth. Filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Aurea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claimer. Then he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. What are these Werricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Werricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Werricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this Steel forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Aurea. A great prophet is coming, they said. Uh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. 
Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh... Mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 no. I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuk camp. Huh. I want to know more about this Damon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rats. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river. Chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one seen before. Oh no, I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if our talk could tell me more about Araya or Thunderstrum. Maybe worth a shot. Look to the front. I tall neck and remember the struggle for survival is never won. I believe you ain't get you blah blah. I want it. I also want it. Yes, not so much. This means that I can't. What? Okay, let's. Yeah, this means I don't get to wear my. My cool armor. Oh. Yeah. You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes. A sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lao Lai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. So Deep Din is a place and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now, but our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it, or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy? Or remembering? She's really attached to this. So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. The dam, dam's opened. A flood without rain. That is strange. 
Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Good for a wear act to see its chief been chained. Jesus, one all the way over here. Ah, oh, yeah. When the old ones were fresh in their graves and our numbers were still small. Don't let the others intimidate you, Outlander. If the Banuf cannot tolerate outsiders, we don't. I had a dream. I'm not gonna lie, this is a kind of shitty place to be a merchant. Quite a view you've got up here. It's a useful perspective. How fleeting we are, when the world is so wide. From up here, you can see how the light paints across the land. Ever-changing. That's a lesson. All our marks will pass. That outlook sounds a little depressing for a painter. Haven't met many artists, have you? Song's Edge needs new stories. I scrubbed its past off this rock to start anew. But a new start needs new colors. Fresh pigments, like none have seen. I see. I'll see what I can find for you. Seek out the vibrant ones. A spring of sudden color among snow or rock or metal. That's its own reward. But I'd reward you as well. Uh huh. So we've got our brand new metal flowers on. My courage. The daemon cannot force the blue light from the machine. Although the light left her with a thousand wounds, blocked by charge. And because she held the light, the machines followed. The ravenous tribe killed many, but those in camp rushed to join the battle. They gathered pieces of the fallen machines and from them fashioned weapons. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. And it was with There's another dude that all the way over here. People repaid the suffering of Raven. You look familiar. Still nothing. The Arthuram, with their ridiculous ideas about women. No more music. I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak. Yes. There are other Werax in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own lie for all Panuku who need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. Orea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not an Outlander's. This Damon you talked about, 
If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. He, yeah, he speaks little. Did I you like Warwick him. Come from this place. No, he rallied most of our hunters from across Benure to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Okay. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. Careful that you don't freeze like a tall man. What I want is that. And hopefully. Okay. If I want to learn more about how this demon affects the machines, I've got to find Aurea. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice who followed the river north. Outlander, wait. Wait a moment. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear. I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past look for a rail inside it the length of your spear that's all i can tell you get a rail from some metal birds in a cave sounds perfectly normal oh does this mean i could finally upgrade my fucking spear oh that's fucking north all right Are they doing dying? I think they're dying clothes, right? Undiscovered. Okay. Oh, a friend's frozen. I'm never at it, because it's a demon. Bet of curse.
another. Sneak up with these guys. Ever added it. See how deep the damage goes. Focus show me anything. It looks like the scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even activate it. Get it I see you boys.
No more of these. <clears throat> Jesus, don't scare me like that, Aloy. I thought I was about to be in a fight. I only need two. Take you on. Here they come. Oh, yeah, they're coming. Man, she really snowed now, eh? Oh, your friend didn't come. Gleam. I need I would like the map for it but I don't actually know if I get the map if I have to go and actually buy it off of one of the blue gleam mer merchants or if I get it when I do the tool neck Exactly, eh, boy?
Now we kill them. Never know when I might need these. That's new, red eye watcher. Still question marking me. Oh, no, of course, it's the one that fell off, hey. Yes, you can, and you will. Well, 
That was kind of rude. At least I know for a fact I don't have to worry about full damage anymore. Precious data. There is a hunting grounds, huh? That's still okay. That's going to be what cheeks to go to. This seems very empty now that I'm looking at it. Whatever. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go there. There's no fucking way. 